Hi there guys, Tom Bell here from RevenueTactics.com and welcome to today's short video where I'd like to ask you a question. How do you test affiliate campaigns? And today I'm going to help you evaluate your testing strategy and ultimately save you time and money by sharpening your decision making when it comes to making affiliate commissions online. Now, typically, when we look inside our students' old campaigns from when they've been running ads previously, we do tend to see a couple of commonalities across the board over and over again. And the first is not spending enough money on their campaigns in order to give their campaigns a fighting chance. And the second is actually the opposite, spending too much on campaigns that are just never going to work. Now, although these situations are both very different, they both originate for the same reason, which is not having a good grasp of the testing process and ultimately putting you further and further in the hole as you either continue to miss opportunity after opportunity or just invest money wildly without knowing the key signs to look for when a campaign shows promise. Now, the testing process is quite an art and there really isn't a literal framework that you can apply to every single offer and every single traffic source. However, having made millions of dollars in sales and commissions across multiple affiliate networks and traffic sources, we've identified some core principles of testing that you can use every single time and adapt to your chosen forms of traffic and offers. So principle number one is to properly align your budget with your offer. And generally speaking, again, this isn't an exact science, but I'll look to spend around 10 times the offer payout before doing any kind of evaluation of the data I've invested in and collected. So if you've got an offer that pays up $50 a sale, I'd spend around the $500 mark on that corresponding campaign before making any decisions about where to go next. Of course, this will vary traffic source to traffic source perhaps, but if I'm bidding on targeted traffic from the start, I would expect to see some conversions at that point if I was to continue on with that campaign. Now, I mentioned earlier about both people underspending and overspending during the testing phase of the campaign, and I can 100% confirm that underspending and killing a campaign way too quickly is the most common of the two that I see. And you know, that's understandable. If you're getting started in this business, it can feel really nerve wracking or even painful seeing your hard earned money disappear. But it's so important to give that campaign a proper chance. So if your offer pays out $100, for instance, and you spend $100 and don't see a sale, don't kill it, keep it going. Even with all my experience, I wouldn't necessarily expect to see sales after $100 to spend either, regardless of the traffic source. You might see nothing for the next few hundred dollars in spend, but then you might get five conversions just like that. So as a general rule, keep the 10 times the offer payout rule in mind to start off with. If you're on a really tight budget, you could potentially drop down to five times the offer payout for an initial test. However, you'd also have to accept that you could be ending the campaign too early by doing this. What I actually think is a much better option for those of you who don't have a lot to invest with to begin with is to go after offers with lower payouts. So instead of going after high CPA value offers, I class these as those that pay out one to $300 a sale, test offers with much lower payouts. A lot of people get sucked in by these high payouts. However, there's loads of great offers in all kinds of niches and affiliate networks that pay in the 20 to $60 range too. And they're much more budget friendly when it comes to the testing phase of a given campaign. Okay, my next tip is to make sure you're split testing right from the beginning. Now, if you don't know what split testing is, this is where you're going to test a few different elements at once in order to see which works best. So we can split test at various levels of the campaign. We can rotate different offers using software like Volume. We'll certainly be discussing those guys in more depth in other videos. And we can rotate different landing pages, pre-sale pages with different styles and formats. You'd be very surprised by how just switching up a headline can have such a strong effect on click-through rates and conversion rates too. And finally, but definitely not least importantly, one of the most important aspects actually of running a campaign is to split test different creatives so your ad images and ad copy, try different angles, different themes. And if you've got a good advertising budget going in, be aggressive with this too. We want to throw a lot at the wall and see what sticks, so to speak. And advanced media buyers are very aware of just how differently different images will convert. Tip number three in your testing process is to look for consistency in conversions, even in the initial stages. So in order to illustrate this, just for example purposes, let's say you're promoting a CPA offer and you get a $40 commission for every lead or sale you generate. You spent $400 so far and you've had two conversions. So you've made a loss of $320, but obviously there've been signs of life in the campaign. You've had a little bit of success and traction there. So there's some potential, therefore we've got to give the offer the chance it deserves because it could well be over the next $100 to spend, you get four conversions come in again, just like that and that could start to tip the balance of the campaign the other way. So that could absolutely happen, guys. It often does, actually. 
But for this scenario, let's say you spend another $400 and after that initial $400 to spend, but this time you don't get any sales. Now at that point, nine times out of 10, I probably would pause the campaign, look at my data and possibly move on to another campaign. So part of the skill set of the media buy is being able to fine tune that balance between testing thoroughly enough in order to give the campaign a fighting chance to prove itself without overspending on a campaign that has very little chance of being profitable. And the final tip that I've got for you today, guys, is to only trust your own data. So perhaps your account manager at your affiliate network, they're telling you this particular offer is just killing it, everyone's making loads of money, and you're left out and you're frustrated because you just aren't. Or maybe you've got friends in the industry who are telling you that they're doing really well on a specific ClickBank offer, for instance, but you've tried it too, but for whatever reason, you just can't get it to work. And you know, the first thing to say is we've been there ourselves too. And there's just so many reasons why that could be. However, as long as you're following the key principles of buying traffic online that we're teaching you in a situation like that, which might happen to you from time to time, you can just box that one off and move on. So some really valuable tips there on how to begin the campaign on the front foot while saving you time and money in the process. And if you follow these guidelines, guys, that myself and David both use ourselves at Revenue Tactics when it comes to running our own campaigns, you're going to find success and profitability much, much faster. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we'll be bringing you the hottest hints and tips for internet and affiliate marketing. Also, check out our training at revenuetactics.com where we can walk you through the testing process in your campaigns in even more depth and help you start a profitable business online. So all best wishes, guys. Bye for now, and we'll see you soon.